All right, diabetes part two, how to make it, how to extend this. All right, and I kind of fixed my hair up too a little bit. It's kind of jacked up. All right, so I'm um, just gonna talk about why hyperglycemia and hyperglycemia are such a big deal. So hyperglycemia, we already said, is a lot of sugar in your body. We talked about that. So why is hyperglycemia such a big deal? Well, it's really not a big deal um, at first, but it's over time, like a long time, it's gonna progress into a huge, huge deal. And this is why. So if you continuously have a lot of glucose in your body, unfortunately, glucose, um, bacteria loves glucose. So let's say you cut your finger or, you, yeah, let's say you're walking around, you cut your finger. Well, if you cut your finger and you're high in sugar a lot because you just don't care about yourself, you don't take care of yourself, or you don't know you're diabetic, maybe it's not your fault. Who knows? I don't know. But let's say your finger's cut, you, you have a high level of glucose all day, every day, for a long period of time, or most of the time. What's gonna happen is bacteria, so this right here is the cut. That's the cut on your finger. Well, there's a lot of sugar in your body, right? Well, if you have a lot of sugar in your body, bacteria loves sugar. So bacteria is going to accumulate on there really, really fast, a vast majority of it. Like a lot is going to gather on and it's going to stick on there. Well, what do we need to combat that bacteria? We need white blood cells, right? You need your soldiers, so white blood cells. Well, See, this is where having a, hyperglyce a hyperglycemic patient or being be hyperglycemic, hyperglycemic is like a double-edged double -edged sword because what's going to happen is that glucose attracts a lot of bacteria. It's going to stack on, stack on more than normally. Well, at the same time, having, a high, having high glucose in your blood is going to make your blood very thick, very syrupy. Okay, that's a good way of thinking of it. So if it's syrupy and it's thick, it's not gonna move as fast, right? So because of that, these white blood cells are going to get to where they need to go to the combat zone, let's call it that, because that's just the way it started. It's gonna get there very, very slow, in slow motion for you, okay? So what's gonna happen, this is gonna, this will eventually get really, really bad which will lead to necrosis. John, what does necrosis mean? Let me tell you, it means tissue death. Necrosis is a, it's a very fancy word for tissue death. So if your white blood cells aren't getting there because of the thick syrupy glucose blood and bacteria is on there because of the, the glucose blood, what's gonna happen, that tissue's gonna die. Over time, you will need to get that part amputated because if you don't, it's gonna progress, 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 and then you are gonna lose a lot of stuff. That's why diabetics will lose a finger, a hand, a leg, or foot, and that's why hyperglycemia is such a big deal. Now, why is hypoglycemia a big deal? That is because if you don't have sugar, you're gonna die. Cancel Christmas, it's not gonna happen this year. That's what that means. So that's why hyperglycemia is a big deal, and that's why hyperglycemia are such a big deal, okay? Those two, uh, as simple as I can put it, a patient that is hyperglycemic, a lot have, has a lot of sugar, needs insulin to get, they need insulin to take the glucose out of the bloodstream and get it into the cell, that's a cell right there. So if your patient, if you give them insulin, their glucose level will go down because the, blood, the glucose will get extracted from the bloodstream into the cells, bringing that sugar level down. Okay, now the sugar level is down too low, that could be dangerous because it could die. How do we get it too low, like when it's too, way too low, hypoglycemic? We do it by maybe uh, taking too much insulin or not eating enough, all right? And that's how your patient becomes hypoglycemic. Either they took too much insulin or they haven't eaten enough, those two, okay? Um, and then hyperglycemic, you just eat, 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 no insulin, or you do take insulin but you eat too much, and it just goes up, 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 it doesn't matter, okay? So that's where you get, that's where you get both of those, hyperglycemic and hypoglycemia, and that's why they're both so dangerous. Um, I will continue on with 
and see if it lets me. I'm kind of running out of time. That's why I'm moving so fast right now. So uh, if your patient is mentally altered, if your patient is hypoglycemic, they will be mentally altered. That means they'll be loopy. They're going to act drunk for the most part. So we use an acronym called AEIOU tips to kind of see if they really are intoxicated, what's going on, is it, is it uh, diabe diabetes? So A E I O U tips. So these stand for alcohol is the first one. Uh, your instructor might say something differently. Uh, it depends on where you live. Everybody uses this in a different format. Let me show you doing it right. Okay, so so this stands for alcohol. This stands for epilepsy. And I'm gonna go really fast here. This stands for infection. This stands for opiates. Uremia. Trauma. Insulin.